Hello everyone, um, Azrael back with a quick little video. I guess I want to join the herd of people complaining about Forza Motorsport. Now I have a lot of ideas for videos and things I want to say about this game, but after update 5.0 was um, announced today, or not announced rather, but officially released today, and the car pass cars were officially released today, I started realizing something. This car pass was a scam. A scam. <sighs> Every other car pass in Forza history, including Forza Motorsport though, this is important to re realize because I've had arguments about this before and keep in mind, I'm referring to the entire franchise of Forza, not just Horizon, not just Motorsport, both. When we have historically had car passes before, which has been in just about every single game, there has been a little bit of everything for everyone, okay? Think about it. You'll have a car pass that has some 90s JDM. You'll have some classic muscle cars. You have a car pass that has my favorite car of all time, 58 Plymouth Fury. You'll have car passes that have race cars. You'll have car passes that bring interesting things to the table, like a Pontiac Aztec, or something fun and crazy and interesting. In Horizon, when they had a car pass, you would see a large diversity of cars that they were bringing in. With this car pass, there is 90% the same thing. Race cars. And I yes, I know race car is a very broad swath. There's a lot of different types of race cars. But I have a strong suspicion that the types of people who drive race cars in this game are kind of all in the same bubble. There's a much larger swath of the player fan base that doesn't particularly care about the race cars. Like, I get it. There's a huge difference between that Buick Regal race car and then like a 60s Indy car or whatever. But at the same time, the types of people who are going to be opting to drive those instead of, I don't know, a Civic Type R, a Mustang, um, Mercedes-Benz C-Class, whatever, you know, more popular street cars and cars that people modify. The Venn diagram between people who will choose or opt to race those and the guys who will opt to re race street cars like Miatas, Mustangs, Civics, uh, C-Class, Mercedes, whatever, is much, much closer between the race cars versus anyone who prefers street cars driving any of those race cars. Does that make sense? Like the types of people who are going to be driving the Lotus are much more likely to drive the Regal than the Civic guy is to drive either of those cars or the Mustang guy or the Beamer guy or any of those because race car guys are kind of their own specific car culture. Like there are people who specifically like race cars. They like racing race cars and racing games. And I do too, don't get me wrong. But the car pass isn't just supposed to appeal to one type of person. It never has before and it never should. Let's look at the cars that have been added in the updates so far, at least the ones that I could pull up easily. Car pass car, 1965 Lotus, number one team Lotus, race car. McLaren, number 33, race car. Peugeot, number seven, race car. Then Mercedes AMG GT3, race car. That was the whole car pass. So if you paid $100 for the game, for the VIP edition, to get the car pass, and you don't like race cars, you just wasted a week. That's a week of your car pass completely wasted. Now let's talk about the next one. 2018 Chevy number 23. 1985 Buick number 6. Cadillac number 31. Lamborghini number 63. Porsche number 11. That's nine. That is nine. Now, that's two weeks in a row of nothing but race cars. I get it, it's a racing game, but motorsport has always had street cars and every car pass in the history of motorsport has also included street cars. So I don't want to hear the obnoxious excuse or rationalization of, oh, motorsport, this is a motorsports game. It's supposed to be nothing but race cars. Play Horizon if you want more street cars. No, motorsport has always, and Gran Turismo has always had a large focus also on street cars. I get it, people wanted more of a balance and more race cars in the newer game but that doesn't mean the car pass should be nothing but race cars that's nine to zero right now let's check the next update 2019 
2019 McLaren Senna GTR. So R for race. I'm not. I'm gonna include that as a street car, just because it's not like already modified into a race car, right? As at least as far as I know, it doesn't have like the decals and the numbers and and the roll cage already in it. I think it's like like a FX FXX type of thing where it's a race car, but it's like track only. It's a non-street legal car. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. So there's one to nine. Ferrari's number 62. There's 10 to one. Uh, uh, Aston Martin, Valkyrie AMR Pro. Once again, you could kind of put that in the GTR category. Let's just give it to them. 10 to two. And I'm I'm stretching the definition of a street car drastically because neither of those two cars are even street legal. And then Cadillac number 57. That is what, 11? 11 to 2 now, or am I at 12 to 2? I don't even remember. Now, see the next car pass, the most recent one. Lotus, Team Lotus, Type 35. That is 12 to 2. Cadillac number 3, 13 to 2. 2018 Ford, number 98, 14 to 2. And then the 2020 TTRS Coupe, which has been in former games. At least, I swear it has. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's it was in Horizon 5. So... Of the three cars that are street cars that were introduced as part of the car pass, at least from update two to five, two of them are not even street legal. They're just not fully fledged race cars. And the last one is just a port over from Horizon. If you're a racing car guy, congratulations. This has by far been the greatest car pass in the history of motorsport franchise but if you are literally anyone else this car pass was an absolute scam absolute scam and i don't use that word lightly but it is completely ignoring a massive portion of the forza community by only including race cars not everyone only wants to race race cars this game is taking itself way too seriously with its car list it's removing all the classic cars all the all the trucks and SUVs, even if they're racing related trucks like a Ford Lightning or something, or a GMC Cyclone, which was faster than a Ferrari at the time. Anything quirky or interesting or not something you'd expect to see at a track day is gone. And the car pass, it is nothing but race cars. Stop taking this game so seriously until it deserves to be taken seriously by being a good game. Sorry, not sorry.